Alright, so... I want to note that after Crying Sons, I actually bought another game for my uh, phone. And this is another game that's basically available on Steam, but... Well, I basically cho chose to basically play the mobile edition because, you know, it's a traditional relic and... I have always want to basically see a good traditional relic on a phone. I think this might be one of them. In the future, perhaps. What is it? Let's show it off. Alright, so, Solar Rogue. There's a nice little high score list here where you can basically like, see, like, you know, your high scores and such. I'm not sure if it's basically going to have, like, you know, um, high scores for, like, you know, other players or anything like that, or just, like, always going to be local, but whatever. There's the credits. Basically, it's made by a guy called um, Gulam Bolivar, aka Amberis. There's the art, there's, like, additional art, sounds from the web. There's music. Made with and uh, special thanks. Here's our settings. So there's like a tutorial if you can leave on, leave on if you basically want to. There's languages, difficulty. We'll leave it on hard because that's basically what I've been playing out like you know so far. And by the way, I like the fact that they have like you know hard being like you know the default di difficulty for like this game, not like normal because you know that'd be normal. So you can display FPS if you really just want to, camera auto centering, stuff like that. There's like, you know, bomb keys down here. I think that's a pretty good sound for what is right now. So, let's jump in. New game. What will you call, um, be called? So, we're going to call ourselves Dukes and Escapade. Now let's just get started, shall we? Welcome, Dukes and Escapade. Something went wrong. While you were exploring uncharted space, the wormhole sent you so far you've lost all bearings. What you do know is that your warp engines aren't powerful enough to open again. Use what you have and try to find a way back home. Try not to die or run out of energy. So there are basically two ways to die. You basically run out of energy or you die, like, you know, lose all your hull. Weapons can harvest plants, convert the resources to energy. So that's basically like, you know, how you basically get food, so to speak, in this game. And look for the ultimate artifact, the Converter of Yendor. Because yes, this is a game that's like, you know, traditional relic and you have to have Yender in as you're like your like you know MacGuffin basically get you home. Maybe it's powerful enough to bring you home. Alright, so tutorial, ship movement. Captain, order the helm to move by using the numpad keys, clicking or tapping the screen. You can turn off the tutorial prompts in the settings. So yeah, basically turn it off if you basically want to. Um also there's no num numpad keys on like a touch based phone, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Now, no problem is basically like, you know, pressing like, you know, depress like these like, you know, plus and minus buttons to like zoom in and zoom out. Um, if I just look around, I can see like, you know, we have like, you know, a nice like giant like, you know, square space we can just like run around in. We can only like see a little bit around us, but um, right off the start here, we basically can already see that we have like, you know, um, a probe. In my inventory, I'll note that we basically have 10 missiles as well as a missile launcher, so I can probably attack that probe and, like, you know, try to destroy it. And, uh, well, well, well let's do this, um, do, do a section in a moment, but, um, I'll note by the way, as you can see here, for, like, you know, the interface, basically, like, you can see over here, got, like, you know, keys for, like, you know, um, other stuff we can basically do, so you can look at stuff. So there's, like, a probe. A simple probe. Harmless autonomous exploration, um, exploration vehicle. Uh, that's spelled wrong, but whatever. Comes with various telemetry equipment. So, hack and protection, you need a minimum scanner level of 1 to, like, you know, see what they're, like, you know, um, their hacking protection is. There's an overview, basically, of its hull and stuff, so, max hull is basically 10, it's got a speed of 0 0.7, so it's a lot faster than me. Uh, it's got no weapons, shields, or utility, but, um, you know, whatever. And I can't see its stats, because basically I don't have, like, the, like, scanner level for it. I'll note by the way, like, you know, I only have, like, basic stuff, basically, um, at the start here, so we only have, like, a basic scanner. And, this can, like, you know, only, like, see a little bit. 
But, um, you know, whatever. It's it, a lot of it's like basically C's. That's like, you know, a good thing about it. Alright, so, up here you can see like my hull. You can see like my shields. Um, if I basically look at my, my ship itself, you can basically see like, you know, we basically have like, you know, 13 hull. There's like our weapons and speed and all this other stuff right here. There's our energy upkeep. And yeah, I can't actually see my stats for my hacking protection because basically my like, you know, scanners aren't exactly good enough for that, but, um, you know, it's a pretty good ship, so whatever. To start off with. Um, alright, so we're in the beginning. And alright, so, tutorial, harvesting. Captain, the ship's scanners have detected a planet close by. We should get close with, um, within fire range and shoot a few missiles. We could get useful materials from debris. Okay. So, there's basically a planet right down there. Now, basically, deal with the planet, but we're just gonna deal with the, like, the ship here first, so. Let's hit the weapon button here. We fire missile basically, uh, basically like the pros literally on top of my square, so. There we go, we blew it up. Alright, so, Captain, the ship's scanners have detected base elements that could be used to power the ship. Get on top of it and use a tractor beam to bring it into our car hold, so. It's basically talking about the like the hydrogen um, chemical right there. We actually basically got that when we basically like, you know, blew up the ship there, but you know, pick it up. Captain, we've picked up an item that could be used to refuel the ship. Clicking on the conversion button to warm up our energy to matter converter, so basically something go over here and now the tutorial. Uh, tutorial converter. Captain, let's refill our energy by converting this hydrogen in. Select the recycle energy from the list on the, on the left, select the hydrogen on the, on, on the right, and then click the craft button. So, basically I want to like, craft this into like, you know, energy. And there we go. Alright, so basically then our probe appears fire weapons at it. And evade our shot there, so... Fire again. Let's move here. Move here. And there we go, we blew up the uh, second probe over here. This guy dropped two hydrogen for me to make use of, so we're going to pick those up. And convert these basically into hydrogen, uh, into like energy. Now, I know I only have like a couple of missile sites left, so I basically want to craft more. This takes a little bit of energy basically to do, and it takes some time, but you know. We'll basically have like some more ammo in case we like you need to like fight something. All right, so what basically want me to go over to this planet like you know early on, basically like you know hit and basically get some stuff. So we're gonna go down to the planet over here. So plants are rich, um, are rich source of base materials to feed, um, for feeding the energy converter to ship. So basically, you can know, like hit these for like you know, um, their materials and stuff like that. So we can basically click on it, basically to fire it. So boom, fire again, boom, some more materials, fire again. Now, no part sometimes your shots won't like produce anything, but. Um, uh, basically the idea of, like, you know, a plant spy in this game. If you ever play, like, you know, Out There, uh, a Mega Edition that's basically another, like, you know, really like I basically played. Basically in Out There, the idea is, like, you could basically harvest, um, like, resources from plants and stuff like that, but as you basically, like, you know, harvest from them, you'll basically get less than enough resources to basically extract it from, because it's basically got, like, only so much you can basically, like, get before, it, like, you know, becomes counterproductive. Now, I don't buy, I usually want to, like, fire, like, at least a few off here, so... There we go. We can grab all four of like the hydrogen, uranium, and oxygen right here. And I want to convert this stuff here. Now I want to know by as you look at this stuff here, hydrogen basically gives you like you know a nice like 990 basically to like you know recycle, so it's really good for like you know fine basically to convert into like energy. Oxygen basically gives you like you know um, 509, which is like a little bit less, but you know it's still worth it basically to like you know get for like your like you know purposes and stuff. But uranium. I'm not that uranium basically gives you a nice, a massive like amount of energy, and early on this would be very useful basically, like you know, keep my like you know my like energy basically topped off. So we're gonna have us a nice energy base for a little bit here. So that's nice. All right. So now I can't remember, but I believe there's like an option to like set like a grid in this game. So. Let's see here, I don't see an actually an option for a grid, but whatever. Basically, like as you can probably guess from like you know, um, 
the map here. Basically, you have like a sort of like grid. I'm just like going to go down this way a little bit. Alright, tutorial title neutral. Captain, an unknown ship has entered our scanner range. No weapon signature detected. It's ignoring us. The target is deemed neutral. We'll be marked in blue. Hint, they're easy picking. So, basically, I attack pros by the way because, like, you know, they're easy to kill. So, we'll get up on them and let's fire at them. Boom. Oh, he's running away. Now, not by this, like, probe is faster than me, so. We're gonna have to basically definitely just try and catch up to him, but you know, whatever. Alright, there we go. We blew up this guy. We got, like, his energy there, so we'll grab the uh, hydrogen up here. Is there a probe up here I want to kill? So let's get up here. Let's go right there. There's another hit to him. There we go, it's self destructed. We'll grab away this drop right there. We'll convert it into, like, you know, energy. Now, I'll note that early on, the idea is, like, you know, you basically just want to, like, you know, harvest some energy from plants and, like, you know, push on to, like, the next sector. But killing off these probes, like, it might be able to find, like, a better system for, like, scanners and stuff like that. So it's really weird really my interest basically, like, you know, attack those probes and try to, like, get their scanners or, like, you know, other parts basically do stuff. And no more missiles to shoot. We actually ran out of missiles there, so. Build more missiles. Oh, no, by the way, I'm actually using missiles every time we see fire at these plants as well, so it's something to watch out for. So there's a hit right there. There's another hit. There's another hit. Let's fire again. And maybe one more time. Alright, there might be more resources basically in the plant, but I'll note by the way, like, you know, as I said, you get diminishing returns for, like, you know, attacking these plants, so. We'll just do that. We'll hit these guys. We'll grab all the resources. Now let's take a few turns to convert these into energy. And there we go. Excellent. Now our plant over here, so let's go over here. Now, note by the way, if like I'm playing like on a mobile device, I always hit like the weapon bu button, so I basically don't misclick. I'm not basically like you know with like key, like a key and mouse. It's a lot easier basically for me to like you know um, manage like you know heinous plant and stuff like that. But whatever. Now, note by the way, like just so, so you can like see here, um, if I basically like, click on a plant where it's got like stuff like this here, my my like ship will immediately go over to like you know it basically to pick it up. Just to throw it out there. There's some more stuff there. And it looks like we're basically not producing anything at this point, so, you know. Let's convert some more missiles. And we'll turn this, like, you know, into, like, you know, fuel. And, oh, yeah, we got, like, you know, almost, like, you know, 25,000 energy. We're, like, you know, just pumping out, like, you know, pumping out our, like, you know, energy, like, you know, surplus. Go this way. And yeah, I'm basically carefully mapping out the blue areas to try and like find wherever I can because like you know with the vastness of space there's always a good chance basically like there's something you're just gonna miss. Where possibly just wanna like you know get what I can find. Whoop. Misclick there a little bit, so miss a spot, that's fine. Now you can see basically as I can move around, we're basically using up energy. Basically, in this game, your energy is like your hunger clock, and everything you basically do will like you know will cost you energy to do. So moving around like this, we're actually like using up you know our energy a little bit. So it's something to watch out for. Especially early on, by the way, in this game as well, so. Ah, there's another plant. We've picked up a probe, apparently, so. Let's go deal with this guy first. And of course, I miss. And 
And it's moving away like, you know, at a quick pace because that's what they can do. And still nothing basically from these probes or anything being dropped, but, uh, you know, that's just par for the course sometimes in this game. And yeah, no matter, like, you know, even like if I like one missile like these planets, sometimes I'll just get nothing, so... Alright, this planet seems to be a dud. Sometimes you'll find plants with like very little like, you know, stuff in them, so you can't get much out of them. And that just happens, unfortunately, so you just have to deal with it. There we go, let's convert that, link a few missiles. Later on, I'll note you'll find like plants are colonists in this game. And, of course, attacking a colonist plant is usually a bad idea, so... You'll have like bad times as, as you do that. And there we go, that's pretty slick, you know. That corner of the map is explored up too, so let's go this way. There's another plant, let's just move on over here. I know it's a little bit small basically looking at it this way, so, you know. We'll zoom in a little bit here. Alright, nothing there, but you got some uranium, so that's fine. There we go, a little bit of stuff from that. There's 15 missiles, so I won't like run out immediately right now. Alright, so, tutorial, tactical, hostiles. Captain, an unknown ship has entered our scanner's range. Its weapons are powered up, and it's heading for us. The target is deemed hostile, and we marked him red. Alright, so basically, like, there is, like, you know, the chance of basically finding a hostiles in this game. And here's our first one, it's basically, like, an enemy scout. Um, I can basically look at it and basically, like, get a description of it, so... A human scout. A small, fast ship from the for, for forward exploration. The human armada often alternate between missile and laser as standard equipment. So there's basically its hull, it's like the same as mine. There's a speed weapon, you shield and a utility mass, basically the same type of ship as mine. Um, early on these guys aren't too bad, usually they just have like pack a little bit of missiles to like fire at you, so we shouldn't have too much of issue with this guy. Yeah, he'll fire missiles basically at me, so we'll slug it out here. Alright, now, no problem, like, you can see, like, here, basically, we invade stuff and, like, you know, take hits. Um, we basically took our first hit here, so basically lost 40% 40 40 of our shields there, but, you know. As long as our shields basically hold, we'll take any hold damage, so it's fine. And our shields are down! So apparently we took some hull damage there. Um, it's a little bit hard to basically see, like, the hull damage basically in this game, because, like, you know, like, you can't really look at your own ship, I think. But yeah, like, a crew ro um, log and stuff like that, but... There's nothing basically look at your own ship, like, you have a scanner space to do so. Alright, there we go. A direct hit to the main deck creates a chain reaction in the onboard computer and ends in a firework. So basically blew up the first ship here. Now, not by if I press the grab button here, you can see, like, yes, he has some stuff here, so he's got some repair nail bots. Those are basically excellent to, like, repair a ship if we need to. Um, that's a good find, basically, early on. He also has some missiles left over. He's got some auction, so let's pick it all up. And we basically just convert, like, the auction here to, like, you know, make a little resources out of it. Ooh! And yeah, sometimes you'll find, like, random weapons basically lying around. So here's, like, a weapon right here. So, inventory. Captain, we've picked up an item that could be mounted on our ship. Please head into the inventory screen for more information. Alright, so, inventory. Captain, to equip our new weapon, just select it in the cargo list on the right, and select the mountain button to install or replace the current equipped weapon. So, we basically found ourselves a salvage missile launcher. This is actually worse than our, like, you know, current weapon, but, you know, this is showing off. We're going to mount it like this. And, like, you know, it goes right there. Now, I'm not bothered if I, if I want to. I can actually deconvert this weapon, so... We can go to disassemble and like actually disassemble the missile launcher. And this allows you to give it a spare part. And the good thing about getting spare parts is that you can actually use it to build up our stuff. So um, I could build like, you know, other stuff I can basically like build here. So like, you know, a shield of mining laser. Uh, we get like a lucky missile launcher. We get ourselves a precision laser, laser turret. We get like, you know, a compactor. All this good stuff is like, like, you know, builds like I like go along here. Do I need to have like a few more parts basically to do anything? So let's just get push on.
I have to say, I'm kind of annoyed because we're basically like, running around here and we haven't really found anything. Except for our vessel here, so... I'm not ready to fight. Let's take him on. And yeah, it's not having enemy scouts, so... Boom. Alright, there goes our shield to, like, you know, a third. There's down to, like, you know, uh, just a little bit over a quarter. And there we go, we blew up the scout. Awesome, so you destroy the enemy. Now, I know this guy basically left a, a, scout, a scout hull relic. You can basically use these to, like, you know, uh, do other stuff as well for crafting, so we'll take it. And just so you can see what it uh, basically says here. The remains of the scout, uh, scout hull are still in surprisingly good shape. They could be used as a scaffold for a new scout. I don't know if I in this game you actually like build like you know, new scouts and like our vessels for yourself as a pilot, so basically this is like a part of like how you basically do it with like these things right here. So it'll be very useful if I basically find like an R-Scout relic, so basically show it off like you know, um, I could like build like you know, uh, a bomber for example, like get like an R-Scout relic. And you can see from here basically, so similar size to scouts, basically they're compared to Pedos. They're heavier and slower, but you know, more resilient than scouts, basically like, you know, they have more like hull, they have like you know, less speed and stuff like that. A little bit more utility, so very useful. By the way, just to throw it out there, I can't like you know, recycle this for a little bit of like you know energy as well, but not a whole lot. So it's not useful for really for that, but you know it is there for that if I want to, I guess as well. All right, there's that basically like, explore over here. So let's just go in here a little bit. I realize I'm running out of energy here, by the way, because like you know we haven't really found what I really need to find. It's like you know. Um, like equipment basically to do stuff, so that's unfortunate, but well, it happens. All right, now enemy, let's just go fight him. We'll zoom in a little bit closer to this guy, and boom! They were down to 60%. We did six damage ourselves. He went wide, and boom, we blew him up. We'll grab the like missile basically drop for us. So let's take that and just push on. Now I have to watch out for it, by the way, because I am like, you know, use up my, like, you know, missiles that we do this, but, you know, we have to fight off, like, the enemy vessels that we come across, right? So, it's important. Let's go this way a little bit. And, yeah, my air is getting low, but, oh, well. There's a probe. And a plant. Excellent. Let's go right here. I'm just going to fire at the probe here. Boom. Alright, we blew up that guy. We got his hydrogen there, so that helps. Oh, nothing produced. There's some stuff right there. This plant seems to be like another dud, which is unfortunate, so... We'll just convert what I can here. And just so I like have like something to defend myself and make sure I have five missiles. I don't know if that sometimes happens where like you don't find anything like in the first like map and you basically run out of energy like you know early on, but oh well. There's some hydrogen. Ooh, three of them. Nice. This will help out a little bit, so there we go. A little bit of energy. few more missiles. And here we go, we found our plant, so... There's some stuff. More stuff. More stuff. I think we probably grabbed all we can, so let's just grab this here. Grab this stuff over here, and convert it into some energy. There we go. There's some missiles. And where is it? I'll note by the way I'm actually looking for a wormhole, basically to like go to like the next sector. Like the one we basically like, you know, um was like you know used to basically be brought here. But I'm not finding it, which is unfortunate because I need that to basically like you know advance further, so There we go. Let's get close to this probe and blow him up. 
Oh, we didn't kill him, so we'll have to chase him down. Unfortunately, we waste a lot of missiles basically fighting this guy. So that's not great. I'm going to have to craft basically more missiles basically do stuff. Let's do that there. All right, so there goes that one. Let's grab the hydrogen that popped out. And I'm not getting very lucky here, unfortunately. So that's the only thing that I have to really say. Sometimes you get like unlucky with like these runs. So there's something that I've actually already um, suggested to the developer that like you actually do like you know he may basically give, like it maybe better scare early on. So basically like you know. Aren't like you know looking around like this like crazy to like find stuff. There's an enemy vessel to fight, so let's fight him. Got an hydrant from him, I guess, so that's good, I guess. Oh, this guy's running away, so chase him down. You know, I don't know why it basically says escape pod launches, because these are basically Thomas drones, so they can't actually have people on them. I don't think. But whatever. Convert this, get some energy. Get a few more missiles, so I basically can do stuff. There's what I want to basically find, so... Here's basically a wormhole. Basically, this can like you know take you to like you know the next like sector. So wormholes will offer travel between solar systems. Blue wormholes bring you closer to home. Yellow wormholes basically send you deeper into the unknown. Now I basically have to go find some like you know more actually So I hope I find like our planet around here. So we'll just do that right now. Look for a planet. Come on, I need a planet here to like you know fuel up on. In our probe, I guess we'll fight this guy. Boom. And if you have to basically find like a single like you know component from like this probe, it's like annoying, but oh well. Yeah, slowly my resources are draining to zero. I may have to push on to like the next sector if I don't like, you know, um, find a plant, but you know. Realistically, if I don't find like enough energy space to go on to like the next sector, I'm not gonna live anyway, so I'm just gonna die to like a you know a ship will basically find or something. There we go, there's a plant. Hopefully we'll find some uranium in this plant and I can like, you know, do up a little bit. Now don't bother like your energy gets lower like this, you'll basically like, you know, get like a warning like you're running out of energy and stuff like that. But it does also fuel me up this uh, uranium right here, so that's good. So let's just take all this stuff right here. And there we go, we got the energy space to push on. And we're going to basically fire again. A little bit of auction there. That's probably all we're going to basically find. We're not going to find much else here, so... We'll say it's probably good enough for now. And just because I can, we're just going to look around a little bit more just to try and like, find, like, you know, another plant basically to harvest, so, you know, we can, like, get maybe a little bit more to go on with. I'm not sure how many plants basically can spawn in a, in a, in a you know, universe, but we're probably running, like, you know, at, like, the maximum at this point, so this will probably be the last plant I go to. Cool, we found our plant, so we can go here and basically fire this one.
More uranium, that's what I want to basically find. More uranium. I actually ran out of missiles here to uh, fire at this point, so let's grab what we can right here. Two uranium is going to really help a lot with, like, you know, fueling up my ship, so there's some, like, energy. And one more uranium basically popped out, so... I think we're good at this point basically to push on to the next sector. Let's get to it. Let's go down here a little bit, just like map out the blue here a little bit. Alright, now no way we basically get to, like these like spots here, you can basically use the FTL to go to the next area, so here's a new level. Essentially like these like worms are like your staircases in this game. I'm not basically, this is like very much a traditional role like this game, and essentially it's like your giant dungeon you're basically running around in. And these wormholes are basically like, you know, um, are basically like your staircases to like the next area. Nice, we found a plant right off the bat here, so let's fire it in a little bit. Whoops, I didn't like, you know, hit it there. Ooh, nice haul right off the start here. Okay, let's grab uh, 11 items. Usually these plants can help up to like, you know, 15 items, they like the good ones, so... We'll see if we may produce a little bit more. And we're probably like running out at this point of stuff here, so... We'll recycle this. Make a few more torpedoes. And keep going on, so let's go up this way a little bit. And you get a little blurbs as you go along here with like stuff happening. And nice, we basically found ourselves a converter. So I'll note this is like a like you know a, um, something about this game by the way. They'll basically find matter to energy converters as you go along. And these are basically like your recipes in this game. Basically like these are a lot of blueprints to like do stuff, so I'll note basically this time converter I basically have here basically has access to like you know a uh, shield, shield mine laser, lucky missile um, launcher, position laser turrets, and stuff like that. If you basically grab this guy and equip it to my ship here. We're actually going to have different recipes down here. So basically I have like a compact mine laser you can basically build right here. There's the like, you know, broken missile launcher. There's the broken la um, laser turret. So basically like get like new stuff basically as you go along here. Now, I think what I'm going to do at this point, we're actually going to, like, you know, salvage basically, like, you know, um, my, like, old, my old one right here. And this is going to be, like, another spare part. Now, what I really want to basically do at this point, um, I, there's, like, a few things I want to, like, you know, get early on. And a compact mine laser is basically one of them, because this actually lets you, like, you know, uh, mine a little bit better, this thing here. Basically, this thing has a special, like, you know, drop bonus for, like, your, for, like, you know, your, like, you know, weapon chance, like, to basically get stuff out of, like, you know, plants, so I can put this basically on my ship and basically, like, get more drop um, chance for, like, you know, plants we basically hit, so we'll just put this right here, get the spare parts in, and then we'll craft it, and next plan I basically find, I'll be able to hopefully, like, get more resources basically extracted from it when, like, you know, we shoot basically at it, so that's the purpose basically of the mine laser, so to speak, so hooray. And there we go, let's go test it. We'll mount this right here, and we'll fire. And nobody this has a different, like, you know, arc than, like, the missile turret, because, like, you know, it fires in a line. And there we go, we basically fire and, like, you know, get some stuff. There's some more stuff. We got six um, um, items so far. Three stuff in the first shot. But we get something on the fourth, so... There we go, we got some hydrogen. So let's just take this, and we'll take this, and we'll take these. And there we go, we got ourselves a little bit of like, you know, um, energy space to do stuff with. Let's mount that right there. And let's keep going. There's another plant, we can basically go up here. 
We'll equip my mining laser basically again if we see the fire at it, so boom. And look at that, we got some nice nice hull right there. Get more stuff. Get more. Get again more. Nothing on a fifth shot, but it's fine. We basically got enough on a like the you know few shots here. Fifteen items. I'm not gonna complain about that. You can basically get like you know some nice like you know um, energy base from that. Now, no point at this point. We actually have like over fifteen thousand like energy, and I'm about to get more. But like you know, salvaging us like you know oxygen like this hydrogen. And you know what? So I want to know by the way in this game. I'm not, this isn't really implemented, um, implemented this, just yet, but these converters are supposed to be so, are supposed to have like an energy cap where like they can't get any more like you know twenty thousand or like you know um, they'll get like more as, as they like, get more powerful. But basically, there's supposed to be like a cap for like how much energy we can basically hold. And I'm uh, sort of like you know um, if basically get nothing basically stop you from like going over twenty thousand, but we're just basically gonna like you know play as, as if we like we can't. It's like you know just because we can. I also want to basically save it because I may want to make like a bomber if I like finally get a skull hole. So we'll show it off basically if I can. So let's just keep it going this way. There's another plant. We can just go down here and there's a probe. Whoops! I'm actually using the like you know compact mine laser basically to fight. Now, I know this thing basically doesn't have like, very good damage output. It does have good range, but you know, it's not made for like, you know, flying and stuff. So let's mount this instead. And we'll fire missiles basically at this guy. Boom! We got ourselves in our kill. There's a hydrogen. Uh, let's just go up over here a little bit. There's the wormhole out of here, by the way. So we found out um, already. Mount this, fire at the plant. Uh-oh. Alright, so, I want to know if in this game, you can't find, like, you know, our shift, basically, as like, you do stuff. There's a dangerous point, basically, for me to fight right now, because it's basically, like, you know, a bomber. So, yeah, basically, this guy, as you can see here, he's basically got more HP, he's got, like, you know, less speed, but, um, we want to be very careful of this guy here, so, let's just start moving away from him. Oh, you know what? We actually can't move, because, basically, it's, like, you know, Honest here, so let's just equip this instead. Now note this guy here, he's basically got like a um early on it's gonna have like a uh, like a type of like thing that basically like disables us. So we wanna always like kill this guy pretty fast, but oh well. Um let's just grab the uranium right here. Alright, it's so basically I'll just read this here a little bit, but um uh basically like you know the Shockwave fried our ship. We were down for five turns. So we basically took some like shield damage from this guy and basically disabled us for five turns with his EMP blast. So early on, these guys have an EMP blast to basically fire at you. And it's just, you know, as you can see, like, you know, what it is right there, it basically disables you. Um, it's very devastating if it fits someone else around you, but, you know, early on, like, you can deal with it, so that's fine. Alright, note this guy also has a shield here, so. He's gonna take a beam and basically go down. Alright, so any pulse deflected. We basically um, had all our electronics to survive, survive that time, so we didn't like, you know, get you know blown apart like you know um, we didn't have like a system shut down again. And there we go, we blew up the bomber. Now he's basically got himself an EMP right here, as well as the auction. So let's pick those right up. Now, no boy is like EMP. I basically picked up. It's basically one of the weapons in this game you can basically use, besides like lasers and stuff as you can already see. Um, so basically, it's like discharge the pulse of electron charges that can disable any ship in the vicinity. After firing, the capacitors must be recharged before it can be fired again. So basically, you can see here it's got like you know a cooldown, and it only does a little bit of damage, but you know it basically can like knock out like an enemy vessel. And you know it basically has a fairly like decent um, energy cost. Has like you know, um, well, it's basically got a fairly fast speed, speed on firing speed as well. But you know, you have to be very careful of this weapon. Apparently it uses like missile um, for his ammo, so that's what you can basically use for it, but you know, I never actually used it myself, so I never plan to. 
Alright, let's assemble this right here so we can get ourselves in our spare part. Now let's go up here, we'll grab this. We're gonna recycle the, um, you know, a little bit of stuff we got right here, I guess. So, option at least will go away. And we'll make a few missiles basically so I can like do stuff with, so there's 15 missiles. Let's mount this back on. We're just gonna fire the plant here a little bit. Boom. 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 That's enough shots basically to like you know harvest what we can from it. Let's mount this here. We're just gonna grab what we can right here from like the you know the droppings. Now, I don't bother our car holes is like very minimal at the start of the game, but you can expand if like you, if you get like the right parts for it. So that's what I see aiming to do right next. I think right now it's like you know expand my my inventory. Okay, let's just go up here a little bit. Another plant. Why not? Let's just fire it a little bit. Right, because I basically like you know swap this out. I'll know about your cargo basically is like you know based on like you know what's in the cargo and not like what's mounting your ship. So anything that's found on your ship is basically free equipment that you're basically like, you know using. So let's just grab all this stuff here. And you know what? We basically like, you know fire enough of this plant, so we're going to that front. And apparently I've run out of like you know space here. I'll know about like this stuff you're basically carrying. It does like you know have a weight to it. So hydrogen basically has a weight of like four. Um, Options way of basically four. Your aim is way way of five. Also, a place to watch out for. Also, scout um scout hall basically does it as well. So it weighs like a hundred. So a lot of weight basically is like in is like scout hall right here as well. But whatever, let's just convert some stuff. Missiles also have a weight as well, by the way. So I actually don't want to like you know use them, but you know whatever, right there. Yeah, I can get like a ton of energy base if you want to here, so. That's enough. This is this shot at 20,000, that's what I want to basically see. Right, let's just go up this way, and we'll go up this way. Just keep on exploring for now. Oh, there's an enemy scout, so let's just blow him up. I do have my missile launcher equipped, so that's fine. Let's just wait for him. On the bottom, if you basically click on a ship, you'll basically, like, you know, power down and wait for him, so we'll let him get closer. And we'll start firing. Alright, actually, we got ourselves an auction right there, so hooray. I actually want to get, like, you know, more parts and stuff, but, you know. That's really dependent on like the enemy ships dropping them, so we have to wait for that now, for that to happen. It's very luck based sometimes what you basically get from the enemy, so you have to keep blowing them up, so to speak, until like you get what you want. Do do do, just going down and down and down. Nothing in this corner of the map. There's another plant. You know, I'm tempted to leave some plants basically behind because, like, you know, we don't actually have, like, the room basically, like, you know, keep, like, harvesting everything in here, but, you know. Early on, like, for the first two sections, I basically want to harvest everything, so. We're going to harvest everything. I right, have enough firing at this thing. Let's just, like, you know. Equip this back on. Make sure I have my missiles basically up again, so. There's our missiles. Well, there's 13 items from this plant, so that's awesome. Now, I want to buy. This is like one of like the like pet fees I have for this game. 
Note the scout basically started to like, you know, attack me here a bunch of times. Basically the game will stop like, you know, basically like, you know, doing like a batch option, like, you know, picking up items or like, you know, crafting stuff. So you can't be attacked like this, like, you know, over and over again. And it's really annoying, but oh well. At least you didn't get any shots on me, so we were actually not dead or anything, but you know. It's unfortunate that the game basically doesn't have like, you know, um, a, a quality of life feature like that to basically stop that from happening. But yeah, picking up like arms um, that takes like two turns, and like, you know, that's like time for like the enemy basically coming in and like, you know, start like, you know, missing you to death and stuff like that if you're not careful, so. Stuff to watch out for. It's a thing. This is like, you know, scrap all that. Got a little bit of hydrogen here. And that brings us to 280, so I'm happy about that. So let's just push on to like the next little area we can basically find. There's a probe. I, of course, want to miss the probe, so let's just jump on him. Literally on top of him, apparently. Boom! Got the hydrogen for me, so let's take that and we'll convert, or like, you know, a little hydrogen here and stuff. There we go. Get some more energy and stuff. Another plant! Well, why not? We're just gonna mount this, I guess. And fire. Alright, didn't get anything for that last blast, but that's fine. Let's just mount this, we'll pick up what we can. But yeah, I've, like, note right here, I've basically taken like six turns to pick up all these items. And if anybody basically pops in at this point, you can, like, you know, basically get three shots on me if I'm not careful, so that's, you know, one of the pet we basically have in this game, but whatever. It's stuff I know about, right? So I should be like, you know, not be complaining when I really know about it, but you know, it could be better. Just grab this stuff. And yeah, look at that. Basically, we're like over, like, you know, um, our co-hold limit at this point. So that's unfortunate, but oh well. Let's make some access missiles, I guess. So, boom, 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 boom. I'll salvage this stuff here. Maybe some hydrogen be salvaged here a little bit. Perfect. And yeah, I'll note by like, you know, as you can see here, it's like, you know, a losing battle because basically I can I can throw a lot of missiles in this game, but you know, they all take up like space basically to like make these like you know missiles and stuff, so what I really need to get rid of is like scout hall um scout, scout hall relic, I guess. So let's just get rid of that instead. Unfortunately, so Actually you know what I could do by the way? Um, here's what I'm gonna, basically going to do here. We're going to drop this right here. And I got, like, you know, space space to move around. Let's just go, like, um, like, just hunt down wherever I can for, like, you know, shooting at with, like, missiles. And, like, we'll come back and pick it up. Or turn that, go up to, like, you know, wormholes, drop off missiles into, like, the next sector. And, like, you know, pick them up when I go there if I want to. Like, let's go right here. Just drop some missiles here, basically, so... There we go, this is fine. There's some space. I have a lot to basically convert some, like, extra missiles here to, like, you know, do stuff with, so... There we go. Perfect. More perfect, I got rid of all the hydrogen too. So there's my inventory basically like, you know, well below like 2A at this point because we don't have like the scout hall anymore. And we found ourselves in our probe, so let's blow it up. And I ran away, so let's just go hunt it down. Alright, now I know by as well, the probes also drop relux. And basically, you can use this to basically make a probe if you want to, but you know. But why? We're just gonna basically, like, you know, convert this into, like, energy this thing here, so that's all we're gonna do today, so. Goodbye. 
that's all it's really going to be used for is the probe is just, you know, making energy for now. Let's close in on this planet here, pick up our laser and start firing at it. It's one shot produced eight items, pretty nice, like, you know, yield right there. We got five, so we have, like, you know, collected 13 so far. 14. The five shots basically produce, like, you know, 15 items we may make use of there, so. I'll note by what you can see here, it is the mission returns, like, as you, like, you keep firing stuff, so. You don't want to go crazy, basically, like, you know, shooting at stuff. You just, like, you know, only, like, you know, shoot as much as you really need to, for, for the most part. Let's just use up some energy crafting missiles here, I guess. That'll work. Oh, there's an enemy fighter right there. Whoops! Now, not by the way, I actually don't have, like, you know, um, my missile equipped. So this is really bad, but let's just fight, equip this here. Now, note by the way, I took some hits here because basically, like, you know, we equipped our missile launcher while he's basically firing missiles at us. So, it's not really usually a good idea to see, like, you know, equip like your, like, you know, um, equi equipment battle, but, you know. Well, there we go. We died. Unfortunately, I didn't really get to show, like, you know, a really good run for this game, but, you know. Oh, well. That's my own fault for, like, not, like, checking to basically see if I had, like, you know, my missile launcher equipped. So, yes, killed by a human scout on a second wormhole. You visit free solar systems, there's a difficulty of free. Our final score is basically over 50,000, but oh well. Alright, so that's basically still a rogue. Now, no by the way, if you're like firing this game, you'll be able to like, you know, build better ships, you'll basically build like, you know, um, better like equipment and stuff like that. But it's very lucky of the drop basically what you basically find. Um, I didn't really have really like, a, a really great run basically showing it off, but you know, you basically have to show, show, um, show what the game is basically all about. Basically go around like, you know, you harvest like, you know, energy from like, you know, uh, plants. You like, you know, scavenge like, you know, um, ship parts from like, other ships. You basically like, you know, craft better stuff for like, you know, your ship basically go along. Eventually you like craft like better like, you know, ships as well. But whatever, hope you guys basically enjoyed like, the quick little video for it, I guess. And that's Solar Rogue, maybe we'll do like a full run eventually in the future. But for now, take care.